hand and lands flush. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, effective strike there by Holland. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. his back here looks like he may try to hip escape man isn't it fun to watch this dude work on the mat he's unbelievable how fluid he is in his motions on the mat oh and he's back up again made good use of it there with that punch dc three minutes now to go in this one there by Nate Diaz. Not a guy you want to let get going here on the 50s. No, he's going to here with Nate, right? It's the activity that will overwhelm his opponents, and this looks like the start of that. Oh, looked like he might have been in range, but misses with the kick. Oh, he got that knee up to the head. Under two minutes now to go in the opening round. have landed for Max Blessed Holloway. Single collar tie now. Oh, he did a great job of rotating the hand to an underhook. Oh, big elbow. And he connects with the punch there. 20 seconds left. Score Trying to land the elbow there to no avail. as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC. And if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, I man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect all right, DC, second round is getting underway. Round one, not the round of the year necessarily, but some good in there. And it's not always gonna be. You have two very talented fighters, sometimes very even. That's what you saw in round number one. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh. Now they're both throwing with power. So we call on the numbers here, DC. 39 total strikes have landed for Max Holloway. And striking at a 45% clip tonight against Nate Diaz. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Nice body kick. Three minutes remain in the round. Well, you saw his reference in the tail to take DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that chip. Oh, collar tie. Left hand punch of the clinch. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming. 
and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Both fighters here continue. Wow, actually got the takedown. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. I love watching this guy move on the ground. Another nice transition there. Such a high-level grappler. You don't see that very often. Beautiful movement, hip work on the ground here. Just outstanding with the transition. He is not staying in one place on the ground. And that's very important. Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. All right, so he's sort of turtled up here. Not great body language. Perhaps he's trying to bait him in a little bit. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And you understand, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. And those knees aren't just for effect. Those are doing real damage. Oh! Oh! He's he's shot. Right. He's just mad. See if he can advance position. Try close guard now. What a round. All right, there's the end of the round. So it was a huge strike to the head that stunned his opponent and, and nearly got him out of there. Yeah, that was a big moment. A big strike lands. His opponent's on wobbly legs. That is exactly what you, what you want to see as you're walking back to your stool. Your opponent staggering back to his corner and being hopeful that he can get it back together before the stool. All right, another round is now underway. Pretty good previous two rounds. We'll see who makes the requisite adjustments now. The adjustments are going to be the key, John. When you're doing everything you're training you, and it stays this close, you got to really switch it up. Wood Corner was able to relay that message to their fighter. Better. Oh. Holloway not having it. Now he's got the Muay Thai plug. Man, look at that damage on the right side of his body. Starting to really bruise now. Oh, nice straight punch there. It must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Diaz gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, he eats a knee. Another nice knee there. And both guys really... Just over three minutes to go in round three. Oh, what a shot to the body. He's trying to keep the focus. He's hurt very, very bad. Oh, big left hook there. 69 total strikes have landed for Max West Hollywood. Well, not the greatest land percentage necessarily. 37% the accuracy thus far against Nate Diaz. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the Holloway fight. gets caught with that punch. Oh, how about the transition to the ankle pick? Now we will see where he goes from here. Got the ankle pick. Let's see how he advances from this position. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Oh, beautiful jab from Nate Diaz. If he gets that weapon going early, could be trouble. Yes. Oh! Oh, man, look at that one body shot. That's the power. The power and the placement. It was placed perfectly, and now he's got his opponent hurt. It's a beautiful, fast foot jab. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here. Really starting to connect on a lot of strikes to the midsection here in the latter stages of this fight. Oh, big oh, oh, shot there. He's hurt. That shot landed perfectly. And now he's got his hand over Nice knee to the midsection there. Well, 
Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those no shots to the head. Just takes his shot of every part of himself, and now he's got his opponent hurt. Big clutch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? So the takedown's the big storyline in that previous round. Let's look back at some of the highlights, DC, and got to be pretty discouraging to get grounded that many times. Oh, it's so discouraging because all you want to do is let your offense go, but every time you're getting dragged to the floor constantly, you're starting to get fatigued. He's starting to wear on you. Let's see what type of effect it takes on his offensive approach as the next round starts. That strike blocked by Diaz. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Oh, the big elbow. That's a big strike right there. Beautiful body kick. Here. We'll see if he stops the fight. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. You ready to fight? You ready? Go. So here it is, folks. Fifth and final round. All 
Alright, he engages in a single collar tie here. Just misses with the right. And they separate. Shot is blocked. Throwing that jab now again. The fighter will get. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. And they separate. Man! Big knee! All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Switch, he lands to the body. And they separate. Over and over, he's landing with a big body kick. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Let's go. Set up that takedown. Yeah. Under three minutes now to go round five. Good stick. Would you look at the size of that? Oh! Unbelievable. He's struggling with the finish now because he's got a component hurt very fast. Oh, so an interesting decision there is he decides to stand up and relinquish the dominant position. Oh, straight right! All right, so he's landed some good shots tonight, but this is... Strike to the body. This could be the end. I mean, this fight is close to being stopped. That was a massive shot to the body. <laughs> nice straight punch. Okay, let's focus. Oh. 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 Right on the right It was a perfectly placed shot, and you see his opponent reacting violently from that point. All right, so another swing and a miss, and I'd imagine if your gas tank is this. Nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is oh. true. Oh, oh, fades upstairs and lands crushed. If they land perfect, that is the reaction you're hoping to get. That one landed perfect in this fight. Maybe stop very soon. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Oh! So a competitive title fight tonight, Daniel. As far as it looks like the official decision is in. Yes, here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner by unanimous decision. And still, the undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. Hard a title to hold down as there is in the UFC, but mission accomplished.